And we've had great fighters that are cautious, great fighters um, that, that are cautious. Floyd Mayweather. But Mayweather was different. People sometimes say, oh, Teddy, you don't knock Floyd. He was a defensive fighter. He was an artist. Um, but he'd go get you, too. I mean, he would uh, remember the Corrales fight. Remember, you know, you, you could, a, a bunch of them. But, you know, he, he, he was in there with Madonna. I mean, and he fought him twice. Um, Floyd, yeah, Floyd was a defensive whiz. Great counterpuncher. But when he had to go, he'd go. He'd go. He's a terrific fighter, Stevenson, as is Davis. But it's my job to point out all the nuances, all the stuff that, quite frankly, only somebody that knows what they're talking about, but also that doesn't get paid by you or your network is going to point out. and tell the, It's called the truth. And it's, it's not being critical it's, it's actually just telling you how you could be better or, or how you differ or from someone else that also has talent. That's all. One of my favorites, no secret, Sugar Ray Leonard's one of my favorite fighters of all time. And he had talent. He had as much talent as Keyshawn and as Davis put together probably. But at least as much as either one of them. But he also had the drive to go and test that talent. And I'm not saying they don't have drive. They become world champ. Uh, at least Stevens has become a world champ. I, I, I'm sure Davis will too. <laughs> There's enough titles out there to choose from. I'm sure he will too. And he's got enough ability. But that doesn't mean that you're getting the most out of your talent. Uh, you're, you know, you're getting the most out of your physical talent and you're technique and your style is 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 being used to its utmost but the stuff inside that you have to dig a little deeper to see to find has that stuff been has that stuff been stirred has that been stuff been awakened has that stuff been you know called out not yet i don't maybe if it's there and there's only one way to know if it's there to get in with those kind of fighters that will tell us if it's there. And Stevenson's going to get his chance for that. And like I said, he's a terrific talent. Uh, even, you know, even if they do act like spoiled brats, if you say something that they don't like, which is, I think is just silly. I really do. I think it's immature. You know, I don't want to call anyone stupid, but I think it's not the brightest thing in the world, to be honest. I would want to hear where my show, I hear it plenty too, can. I hear it plenty, <laughs> maybe more than I want to hear it, where my shortcomings are. But I listen. I try to get better. I. The reason I embarked on this, this whole thing that I just went into is because he reminds me of Stevenson a little bit, Davis. Um, their styles are similar. They control the outside with the jab and counters. Good defense. Play it safe. Uh, Stevenson's better. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but he's much more experienced too. They have difficult styles to to look good against, to deal with, and to look good. A lot of fighters don't want to, as they progress, unless they're getting paid, of course, the right, you know, the right number. A lot of fighters, a lot of managers, don't want to be in with a guy that they just can't look good against. You know, and listen, that's that's not saying they're supposed to change now and allow guys to look good with them, but it's just part of the reality that, yeah, you can be a champ. Yeah, you can be a real good fighter, but if you want to be a Sugar Ray Leonard, if you want to be, a, you know, a Marvin Hagler, a Duran, I know I'm going to the icons. I get it. Uh, and where these guys may never get close to, but... If, if you want to be those guys, I'll I, I say something that's going to throw some people off the chair. If you even want to be a Tank Davis, because Tank, to his credit, he also has the part where he's cautious in his head. He's not stupid. He's a smart fighter in the ring. In the ring. He's done some things that we'll question that outside. But we're talking about in the ring. In the ring, he's a guy that knows when to be patient. 
knows when to be delivered, knows when to move and not go forward, knows when to retreat a little bit. No, but at the end of the day, and, and he's got that boxing IQ like, like a Stevenson. Uh, and he, I know he's got the power that Stevenson and Davis don't have. But he also, as I said, has the other elements that they do have. The ability to be cautious when he needs to, to be aware, to be technically sound. But he also has the part in him where he's going to go get you. He's going to go find a way to get you. And he's going to go get you.